The Jet stablecoin is coming very soon to Cardano. Do you want to know in a very simple and understandable way how this stablecoin will work? Well, that's the purpose of this video. I will have for you a very low level, simple explanation about the mechanism of Jet that is, in my opinion, an extremely exciting stablecoin. Nothing to do with Luna, with a much more complex algorithm mechanism that will drive and keep the peg of the stablecoin and of course is a mathematically proven stablecoin which gives us some kind of security and it's certainly a refreshing perspective in terms of cryptocurrency uh, where sometimes a lot of projects just want to test things out, break things out, uh, fix it and hopefully everything will go all right but not here here we have a stable coin that has mathematical and theory behind it now it's time to see how it works uh in practice So yeah, guys, in this video, we'll talk about Jed, we'll explain it in a very simple manner and also talk a little bit about why I do believe algorithmic stablecoins are super important. Yes, they have a really bad rap, but the truth is they have so many benefits. The thing is, we didn't guard it right. That was a big problem so far with algorithmic stablecoins. We didn't guard it right. We just had things that were not tested at all and that people were basically experimenting and the thing is yeah sometimes experiments go wrong and many people have unfortunately paid the price but i do think with jet things work a little bit different and if you stick around for the video and to understand how the mechanism works i think you'll share this opinion as well but yeah don't forget guys that nothing i say here in this video is financial advice it's just educational content and in this case it really is i just want to show you this technology that is super exciting and that you know it's really revolutionary and even if it doesn't work because nothing is guaranteed i think it's a step a significant step in the right direction to find an algorithmic stablecoin and i do believe that the human race will be able to create an algorithmic stablecoin that works okay guys um, so yeah, this is the Jedi website here, but before that, I want to talk a little bit why I think an algorithmic stablecoin is re very important and it's the best kind of stablecoin. Because right now, uh, you know, we have, we could have crypto backed stablecoins, for example, but those ones, it's very difficult to succeed and to sustain the pack because they would need a crazy, a uh, rate of over collateralization because crypto is so vol volatile and it's not like you have cryptos that go up when the others go down usually when something goes down everything goes down and that's the great risk in terms of this kind of crypto backed stable coins and why they are not effective and then we have the most famous and the most the stable coins most people use that are the centralized stable coins the ones that are backed by the dollar but the thing is in that realm you know there are a lot of problems uh because we don't there's not much transparency we are not sure that these centralized companies are holding our funds you know and we need to trust them to really once we pay them we are getting that uh collateral you know for the for the for our stable coin and besides that there are also other problems we also need to trust them that whenever we want to cash out they will pay us uh and they might not in fact it, it's also known that um decentralizers have a lot of power basically they control the supply of these coins and at any moment they can freeze these coins and stop us from moving them and basically removing uh, the entire power you know and besides that of course they're a very centralized uh cryptocurrency so it makes it harder, makes it harder, makes it easier for people to to implement regulations on them, to implement things like QIC, uh, know your customer, and other limitations. While decentralized stablecoins, and in this case algorithmic stablecoins, it's much harder, you know, because nobody controls it. It's just a mechanism, a code that is in the blockchain, and you cannot change it. You know, so that's the really good thing about uh, those stablecoins. Besides that, 
we should not forget one thing that's not really mentioned is that centralized stablecoin uh, providers usually you get treasury bonds they get all those kinds of stuff and and they earn huge yields with customers fund customer funds okay and in an algorithmic stablecoin as it happens with jad and you'll see those earnings that come from the protocol that come from having a, a stable coin are split uh, with the users. In this case, the users that take on the risk and that are uh, responsible for over collateralizing the assets. Okay, guys, and that's very interesting in this stable coin is that everything it's aligned. Okay, but basically, Jad, as you can see here, is just simply an over collateralized algorithmic stablecoin that is collateralized with ADA. Okay, it's very different from Luna, also because they, in that case, ADA and the, uh, Luna and so the supply of Luna was directly correlated with USD, and here ADA is something com completely different. Okay, guys, but um. I have here a whiteboard to explain you a little bit how this mechanism works. And naturally, we don't have just ADA, we have three coins that we need to consider when talking about the JED mechanism. And those three coins are ADA, Chen, and JED itself. So, this is ADA, Chen, and JED. Okay, guys? Chen is a volatile token. Okay, it's an asset. That is derived directly from the protocol on the market and is a token um, that has a right to the entire fees of the protocol. Okay, that's the interest of uh, having Shan is that you have the fees of the protocol. And if everything is okay, you can also burn your Shan and redeem it for the amount of ADA you have put in the, in the smart contract. Okay, guys? But yeah, so basically. <clears throat> Let's see, let's see, we have in the moment zero, where we have no ADA, uh, no gen, no shan, okay? You have the smart contract. Uh, I, I can even put the smart contract here for you guys. We have the smart contract. I draw, my drawings are horrible. So, oops, see, see, yeah. And uh, people just start putting uh, ADA into the smart contract, right? They can start put ADA into the smart contract, and when they do that, um, they can, in this case, get Shan, okay, at most, because of course no Jet can be minted if there are no, if there is no collateral, okay, so they will get some Chan here, okay, guys, <coughs> which is good. They are entitled to the fees of the protocol, okay, and once we we People need to keep putting ADA until we reach a certain threshold. And the threshold that is defined right now is 400% of the amount of ADA, okay, of the amount of JET. So what does that mean? It means that when we reach 400%, people can start meeting JET. So imagine we have here 4 ADA in the smart contract. You can even put the, the drawings for you here. We have 4 ADA. for ADA, then Pimple, okay, and then, in case we have 4 ADA, people can mint 1 JET, okay, if you have 4 ADA in the smart contract, people can mint 1 JET. Let's say if people keep putting ADA into the smart con contract, either because they want to mint Chen, or because, because of the fees, you know, because of the rewards, or because they want to mint JET, because they want a stable coin uh, for volatility, you know, to avoid volatility from the market or to use to get some more stable farming rewards or even to get a loan, you know. There are plenty of uses for a stable coin. So in that case, if we are above 4x of ADA in terms of when compared to JET, uh, if we have four times the amount of ADA in, in, compared to JET, there is no problem. The, the system works freely. Or, however, there is another threshold we need to consider, and that uh, threshold is when we have eight times the amount, uh, eight times the amount of ADA uh, over the amount of JET. So it's uh, eight hundred percent collateralized. When that happens, people stop 
being able uh, of minting chain. Okay, when that happens, no chain for anyone anymore because the the smart contract is built, so they do, they don't. Um, how do you say? So they don't dilute the current holders. Okay, the holders get the fees. So to make sure they are not diluted. Uh, and the fees are still attractive and positive for holders that are taking on a big risk because, and I'll explain you why, because it's just because JED has the priority when it, it comes to burning cryptocurrencies. So, yes, to make it attractive, we have this thing, this mechanism to avoid uh, getting holders, uh, avoid holders getting diluted and make sure the fees are attractive. And in this case... It would be, for example, if we have eight eight in the protocol and one giant, nobody can mint more chain. And um, however, if that collateral drops, you can mint more chain. Okay, so if people remove ADA from the smart contract, you can mint more chain either because they decrease the amount of jet or because they sold some, uh, they burned some chain. People can again resume and keep meeting uh chain okay guys so that's very important so basically we have a threshold that we need to consider that is from 400 to 800 okay four times uh four times the amount of ada as collateral you can do it when you have over four times the amount of ada as collateral you can do anything if you have less than four times you cannot mint um jet but you can mint chain and if you have more than or around eight times, you cannot mint more chain, but you can mint jet. And if you do mint jet, it changes the collateral ratio, and uh, people will be able to get into jet, into chain once again. Okay, guys. Another thing very important is people can always mint jet. Okay, they yeah, mint jet. They can always burn jet. Okay, because there is always enough ADA in the protocol to make sure we can pay the users of JET. Okay, guys, that's why, because it's at least 400% collateralized. But in that case, if it's over 400%, you cannot burn Shen. Okay, guys, uh, so Shen is basically the token that is collateralizing everything and that is assuming risk. Uh, so yeah. You need to consider that, and that's why you're rewarded with the the reward, okay? And that's the interesting thing is like the system keeps balancing itself, and uh, users that want to take on more risk can go to chain and get the rewards, while users that uh, don't want risk can go to Jet and have the stable coin, and being with an assurance they can always burn their stable coin and get their value of ADA back, okay? So I think this is very positive. And in fact, this is how it works. I've done a tweet about it, uh, uh, showing you the mechanism. So we have here how it works. We have Jet and Shen and with uh, 400 to 800%. We can do everything. We can mean bird, Jet, Chen. It's no problem. We, if we are above 800%, we can do everything with Jet, but we cannot uh, mint more chain to avoid users from getting diluted, but we can burn chain, no problem. And if we are below uh, for other percent, we cannot mint jet because there is not enough collateral to ensure we can get paid uh, and can burn our jet with no problems. And we can also not burn chat chain because jet holders have priority to get their collateral. Okay, guys, so this is how it works in a very simple manner. And you can check out my tweet at, uh, at Decent Nation. And I will also drop that in the description. Okay, guys, so don't worry. I think it will, you have everything uh, you, you can have. Now, let's talk just a little bit more about uh, Chen itself. Okay, guys, let's talk a little bit more about Chen. Because Chen here... You know, it's a volatile token, it's a token that changes, so you have benefits of being able to work with uh, speculation. But besides that, all the fees that come from the protocol 
you know, all the fees from the smart contract, from burning and minting, that will be charged fees, goes to chain holders. Okay, guys? So, in the prediction, you know, Cody, uh, they created a model, and their prediction for the, the chain rewards is around 10% a year. Okay, so it's not sure, it's just a prediction. So it can be lower or it can be a bit higher. And those rewards, also very importantly, are paid in ADA, which is, of course, in my opinion, a benefit because it's it's not a stable coin, but it's certainly a stabler token than probably Shen will be. Okay, guys? And uh, besides that, Code is also trying. that It's not available yet, and I don't think it will be available only in this first version of, uh, of JED and of the smart contract, but they are trying to be able to, all the ADA that's locked inside the, con the smart contract, to stake it, you know, and get staking rewards for it. And uh, if that's true, you can get around 3 to 4% to add to uh, the already 10% uh, issued expecting fees. So for chain holders, there should be a return of uh, about 13 to 14% per year. So certainly a very interesting yield and a very interesting reward. But of course, shareholders holders also have to take a lot of risk. Besides that, you know, Cody has a firm, they have partnerships with several DEXs. So naturally, they, you have still the yield farm rewards to add on to that. So yeah, a lot of rewards you can make, especially if you really want to double in DeFi. And your risk savvy, it's really nice for you. Okay, guys. And then there is also another benefit. Let's say that ADA is $1, okay? We depo deposit one ADA and we receive one chain. Some time passes and our ADA is $2. And this individual that did this, or us in, the, in this case, we want to burn our jet. So we burn our jet and we get $1 worth of ADA. But now $1 worth of ADA is not one ADA, it's half an ADA, right? Because the price double. So now the extra ADA, the extra alpha ADA remains in the pool and it goes to chain holders as rewards. Okay, guys, so <laughs> significant rewards here as well. And what does this mean? This means that if you're long ADA and you believe the price of ADA will go up, it's great to have chain because all the money and all the collateral that it, that's inside the pool will go to you as a reward. Okay, all the extra collateral will go to you as a reward. Okay, so this is very positive uh, and it's a way to get some kind of leverage in terms of the price of ADA if you're long without the chance for liquidation, which is very interesting mechanism for you, for people to use as well. Okay, in case ADA goes down, then of course you have the risks and the problems. Finally, uh, one thing that is important to mention is that Jed is also going to have staking rewards. So, and uh, farming, not staking rewards, sorry, farming rewards from all the partnerships that Cody has with all the DEXs. And um, yeah, and I think that's basically the explanation of this mechanism. The drawings are not very good, but I hope you understand it. If you want to learn more about uh, JAD and really go deep, uh, I advise you to read the white paper. Okay, I'll leave the link in the description so you can be relaxed about that. And also, if you really want to see how it works in practice, you have the testnet. Okay, JAD has a testnet here uh, in this page. You just need to connect your name, your wallet. Um, and you can play with the JET stablecoin, you can mint JET, you can burn JET, you had here the, the chain reserve coin that you can also mint and burn, and I do think that with this tutorial you'll be ready to do that, so I'll leave the link in the comments as well. Okay guys, if you, also if you enjoyed this type of explanation and this type of video, please just uh, subscribe and uh, we'll keep delivering useful videos explaining tech like this, so subscribe turn on the notification bell, leave a like if you can, because all the support is appreciated. I do enjoy doing this for you guys, and of course I want to know if you enjoy it too, uh, because if you don't, I'll try to make some, change in, make some changes and make things better. So yeah, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.